Every day, YouTube Shorts and TikTok videos are spreading like wildfire, getting tons of views and making money for creators effortlessly. You have to just make unique and engaging videos. In this video, I am going to share a new method of creating videos and also a new niche. So, without further ado, let's dive in. Look at this channel, it's making facts videos about various places in a very interesting way. This TikTok account is getting tons of views by posting videos created using an AI script and the new Google Earth Studio. Most importantly, it's faceless. Let's see the steps of how to create this kind of video. Alright, first of all, we need to select the place to make a video. You need to ensure the place has a 3D view on Google Earth. Let's ask ChatGPT for the place. I am entering a prompt, asking 50 place names on this prompt. You will find the prompt on our Discord server. Simply go to the description box and click on the Discord server link. Next, click on the Accept Invite button. After joining our Discord server, come to the Prompt Guide discussion channel. Here you will find the video creation with the Google Studio Prompt Guide. Copy the first prompt from here and then paste it into ChatGPT. At the end of the prompt, you can enter a theme, such as Sea Beach, Old Temple, Tallest Building, and more. I am skipping this time. And here it is, ChatGPT generates 50 place names. Now select one of them and write a script about the place. Again, I will use ChatGPT to write the script. Come to the AI lockup Discord server again. This time we have to copy the second prompt. After pasting the prompt, enter the place name on this blank space. And in the end, you can enter a specific starting line. After all is set, hit the enter button. And here it is, our script is ready. Now we will generate the video clip with Google Earth Studio. Open the Google Earth Studio URL provided in the video description. Sign up for an account, and once you've successfully registered, log in with your Google Earth Studio account credentials. This step is crucial for accessing the tools necessary to create stunning flyover visuals that complement your engaging script and voiceover. Now click on the drop-down menu from under the blank template button, you will find some templates here. Review them and select one that best fits your video. On the next page, you can set the positions manually, but I will search it. And here it is we found the place. Now click on the next button from here. On the next page, you can set the positions and credentials of your video. Do some experiments and then set the value. After that, hit the next button. Here we have to set the video duration. I will go with 90 seconds. Now click here to move forward. This is the preview panel. Here you can customize the view or add some more attributes, such as 3D building. Change the environment time and many more. If you want a detailed video on Google Earth Studio, let me know in the comments section. Alright, now we have to customize the project. Google Earth generates videos at the default aspect ratio is 169. But we need a video in 916 ratio. To solve this issue, click on the file menu and then select project setting. Unlock the video resolution and type in 1080 by 1920 and then hit the done button. Now to download the video, click on the render button from here. First of all, enter the name of the video, then set the attribution position of Google Earth. After all is set, hit the save button. Now Google Earth will take some time to render the video. It will take some time. In that, you can create another video from a different angle. Once the rendering is complete, download your videos. Alright, our video is ready. Now we have to generate a voiceover and edit it with a video editor. To assemble videos, I will use the CapCut video editor. If you don't have the CapCut on your system, you can use the web version. OK, import the Google Earth generated videos on CapCut. After that, insert it into the timeline. Now we have to insert the voiceover. You can record your own voice or generate voiceover with text speech tools like Eleven Labs, Muff, or Lovo. CapCut can also generate voiceover from your text. I will use Eleven Labs to generate the voiceover. After creating the account on Eleven Labs, select a voice actor and then paste the script here. Now you can customize the voice setting. Set the voice stability and other settings. After that, hit the generate button. And our script is ready. Did you know the Golden Gate Bridge almost wasn't red? Let's dive into the story of one of the most iconic bridges in the world. 
the now download the voiceover on your device after downloading the voiceover import it on CapCut and then insert it into the audio timeline okay now if the voiceover duration doesn't match the video duration adjust the video duration by customizing the speed now you can add effects and stickers to the video to make it more engaging you can add some stock footage to the video from the stock material tab all right our visuals are ready now we will add captions to our video come to the caption tab and select the auto caption option select the video language and then hit the generate button CapCut will generate captions for us automatically after generating the captions come to the preset setting tab from here and then click on the templates here you will find some caption text templates select the best one from here and here it is our caption is ready in the end we will add background music to the video you will find music on CapCut. But my suggestion is to use music from the YouTube audio library or a copyright-free music provider like Pixabay. After adding the music, adjust the volume. After all is set, hit the export button from here. Now CapCut will take some to render the video. Let's first forward this part. And here it is our video has been saved on our device. Let's have a look. Did you know the Golden Gate Bridge almost wasn't red? Let's dive into the story of one of the most iconic bridges in the world. The Golden Gate Bridge connects San Francisco to Marin County and stretches nearly 9,000 feet across the Golden Gate Strait. When it opened in 1937, it was the longest and tallest suspension bridge in the world. What's even more fascinating is that the iconic international orange color was a last minute decision. Initially, the plan was to paint it a dull gray or even black and yellow stripes for better visibility to ships. But the architect loved the primer's orange hue so much that he convinced everyone to keep it. And thank goodness, this vibrant color helps the bridge stand out against the foggy backdrop of the Bay Area. Another wild fact? The Golden Gate Bridge can sway up to 15 feet in high winds. That's how it's built to withstand intense natural forces like earthquakes. It's also a major transportation hub, carrying about 112,000 vehicles every day. I think it's a quite good video. You can make it more engaging and perfect by giving some extra effort. Alright, now you can upload the video on your YouTube channel or TikTok account. Alright friends, I will wrap up this video. Before that, I would love to hear about your experience with creating TikTok videos with AI. Share your thoughts and results in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time happy creating!